hi everybody it's Susie again I'm continuing on with my video diary after my lumbar fusion it's been six and a half months now I had my lumbar fusion on September the 16th of 2010 and it's now Monday April the 4th 2011 so six and a half months later and um, for those of you who haven't been watching maybe I'm doing this to try to turn this into some kind of positive and and maybe help other people um, it, it's been a really long rough situation for me it took me two years to get surgery because I, I was fighting the work comp system so um, basically I was down and out in bed for two years and <clears throat> oh, it's such a relief to have surgery so I'm trying to pass along some hope you know and sharing my story um, the good news is, let's see, last time I did the video, it was I was four and a half months post-op. I was hoping to be getting the brace off soon, but when they did that x-ray, I wasn't fused yet. So um, I had to wear my brace a while longer, and I went to the doctor two weeks ago today. I was completely fused. They did another x-ray. I was completely fused, so I got my brace off. Yay! At six months post-op, though, so it took a long time. A long time. <laughs> Um, he said that I could start physical therapy, which I'm still waiting to do. I'm still waiting for work comp to approve that and schedule that. So I haven't started that yet. And he also said that I could go back to work light duty. I don't have a job, however, because when I got hurt, I was in my probationary period and they let me go. Poof. So no job. So I'm going to be working really hard to find somebody that will hire me light duty. And it's not going to be easy because I all of my nursing experience has been in bedside nursing where I've been lifting and transferring and that kind of thing. So I don't really have office experience in the other areas of nursing. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is um, try to go through the Department of Education here in Florida. They have a voc rehab program. And um, I'm going to see if they can help me with getting placed. <coughs> finding employment because I'm really excited about going back to work. Um, let's see. So the restrictions he gave me, if indeed I'm able to find a job, well, when I find a job, it's going to be 20 pounds, no lifting from the floor to waist or from waist to overhead. And he said no repetitive bending or stooping and no sitting for more than an hour and no standing for more than an hour in one place without just moving around a little bit. So wish me luck with that, and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, oh, let me show you how I'm doing. Okay, here's the exciting part. Now, still here. This is how I'm able to move. I can bend this far to one side, and then I can bend this far over here. I can go back like that, and I can go all the way down to the floor. Not just my toes, but to the floor. So that's amazing. Um, right after I got my brace off, let's see, or the weekend after I got my brace off, <coughs> excuse me, I went to the beach. I was so excited. I went to the beach. It was so nice to have a bathing suit on with no brace and just to be able to walk along the beach, to get in the water, to get a few shells was really cool. I've been able to take my son uh, to baseball. We've seen a few spring training games this year. And uh, just, I've been able to have that quality back that was missing, and that was the big deal for me. Just, you know, it's not perfect now by any means, but I have some quality of life back. So it's a really long, slow process post-op. Um, I do still have some nerve pain. I do still have some muscular pain. Um, it's not the good news is it comes less often it doesn't hurt as much when it does come and it doesn't last as long so it gets it just gets better and better as each month goes by too that's what I'm finding um, I do have massages done still as a matter of fact I'm about to leave for one right now I still take Lyrica, 300 milligrams twice a day, and Scalaxin a couple times a day. I take Advil, Naproxen, Extra Strength Tylenol. If it gets bad, you know, very uncomfortable, and I don't get relief from that, I'll spray down with the Icy Hot Spray. 
it's in an aerosol can and you can just spray down with that and that helps me tremendously and I'll also use the lidoderm patches still um, so that's been really helpful and on occasion I'll still take the Toradol not Toradol Tramadol or Ultram I still take that every once in a while but I don't take any narcotics anymore that's been months now um, I'm still taking two classes at the college I, I never could have committed to that before never in a million years so that's been really good it's been really good to, to get my mind busy again and to get out of the house and be around other people <clears throat> the depression is uh, almost completely gone I'm I still get a little down you know I get anxious wondering about getting back to work about who's gonna hire me and who's gonna give me a chance and uh, we'll see how that goes what else? What else is going on? Hmm. That's the most important stuff right there. The pain's better. Um, I'm able to go to school. Looking forward to going to work. Getting physical therapy started soon. And best of all, no brace. And I want to thank everybody that has emailed and commented. The the outpouring of support that's come from doing this has been amazing um, I'm finding out that I have been able to help some people by sharing my story and you know and everybody is helping me in return because you find out that you're not the only one out there going through something like this and it's a battle it really is a battle I've thought about trying to do some kind of website I've just started thinking about that about maybe doing some kind of a website where people can post their own stories or comments on different um, like say about different topics that have to do with the back pain and the back surgery like one area would be pain one area would be working one area would be you know exercise physical therapy I, I don't really know I'm just starting to get the wheels turning because the the feedback from this has been really nice and I think that people do need to know that there's other people out there going through this I felt so isolated and so alone and so down you know I had no earthly idea until I found the one guy's um, video story on here I just I didn't see anybody else around me going through this <coughs> excuse me okay um, when I did a video a couple days ago I couldn't get it to post so I hope this one will post and um, keep the comments coming or the questions I'll be glad to answer anything I can or help in any way I can so take care everybody thanks again